whoa, 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 whoa. Hi guys. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's literally been such a long time since I've sat down in front of the camera and filmed something. I'm kind of nervous. Like I forgot what it feels like. Anyways, I'm back today. So my last video was my surgery video, as you guys know. And it's been almost three months. It's been almost three months since my surgery, which sounds so freaking crazy to me. But yeah, I'm back today and I'm going to film just like a little get ready with me and play some music and maybe even talk to you guys a little bit about my recovery and why I've been gone for so long. Because let me tell you, girl, let me tell you. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to just clip my hair back. Honestly, I don't like straightening my hair. I feel like I look so much different with straight hair than when I curl it, but that's no big deal whatever but yeah i'm gonna just clip my hair back and then i'm gonna play some music alexa it's literally been so long that i like this is maybe like my third time in three months that i do my makeup so i don't even know like i kind of forgot how to do my makeup but i'm gonna start priming with the nyx bear with me i already put some sunscreen on and then now i'm just gonna prime my face alexa skip Alexa, volume eight. If the shit don't live off money and off I can be your own mother. But you can wait till I hear more. Okay, so I just finished with my eyebrows, which probably takes me the longest. Now I'm gonna go in with this palette. I don't know, I stole it from my mom, no sé qué es, pero I'm gonna go in with these two little colors. And then I'm just gonna blend it on my eyes. So, okay, so let's talk about, let's talk about it now. Let's talk about the elephant in the room. Just kidding. Um, my surgery was exactly three months ago. And if you wanna know exactly what I got done, you can go to my previous video. It, I literally vlogged everything. I tried to be like as raw as I could. I don't know how how much I succeeded in that just because I felt so bad you guys that I wasn't even able to really like vlog as much as I originally planned to. <sighs> Let me catch my breath. <clears throat> Anyways, with all of that being said, um my surgery, yeah, was three months ago. And let me just say that the recovery was definitely definitely unexpected like i had an unexpected recovery and it really really sucks because when you're getting things done like that whether it's plastic surgery um you know regular surgery or when you're doing anything in general botox anything it could be anything in the world you hope for the best outcome right you hope for the best recovery process and yeah you just hope for the best and you're not ever thinking like well you are thinking of what could go wrong but you don't really like want to pay much attention to that that was me definitely like i'm like i don't want to think about what could go wrong and you guys i i am in love with my results um i am in love with the way like the way my body is now i i was confident before and now i'm even more confident i love my body now but yeah, I had a really, really unexpected and rough recovery. I feel like the internet may like glorify these types of surgeries and it may glorify like the recovery process, but it's definitely like that. Everybody is different. Um, I, I'm only speaking obviously for myself. Um, if you want to see, yeah, a little like, if you want to see a little behind the scenes, you can definitely watch my previous video. There's a lot of like things in that video. But yeah, so since my recovery was extra rough, 
I had a really rough recovery. I literally, that's why I was out for three months. That's why I've been in my A is because I just wasn't feeling well. My recovery didn't go as I expected it to be. I don't want to get into too much detail because it's still a little like, like traumatizing to me. Like it sucks to say, it literally sucks so bad to say it like that. But like, I don't really want to put my all of my business out on the internet. Like I already did, you know, everybody already knows I had surgery and you know what? I'm going to make a comeback. This is my comeback. Like, I will be more um, consistent with my YouTube and my social media now. So, prepare to be sick of me. <laughs> but yeah, I guess that's really all I have to talk about on behalf of my surgery. Because I don't really want to say much. I mean, there's... Like, I don't know how to explain it. It's just really tra something that's really traumatizing to me that I'm not really ready to speak about yet. Maybe in the future. Um... But yeah, um, nonetheless though, I'm perfectly fine now, I'm healthy, and that's really all that matters, is that I'm healthy and I'm okay now, and I didn't really want to film, I filmed, I tried filming a video similar to this, like talking about why I've been gone, not too long ago, maybe like a couple weeks ago, and it didn't really work out because I wasn't really that fine yet, so I wanted to wait a little bit longer until... I felt a little more confident and a little better to make this type of video and talk about it on the internet um, and then maybe later on in the road later on in my life I can talk about fully fully like what happened and why my experience was so traumatizing as of now I kind of just want to forget about it I'm like I just I want all of this to end already and it kind of has so yeah I'm, I'm excited to make a comeback with with everything like go back to my life i feel like i lost a big chunk of my life and i'm not trying to sound exaggerating but like imagine going three months not being able to go out not being able like i just felt thank god i didn't get depressed i don't think i got depressed because i don't feel depressed but like imagine just being home 24 7 laying in the bed feeling like shit feeling weak first of all that's what my main thing was for three months like it really really felt like shit and it really took a huge toll on me like i had huge fomo from watching like everybody all of my friends go out and have a good time and i'm just here at home like what did i do you know like at first i was kind of regretting my decision i'm like why did i do this and like why would i have gotten surgery so young but now that it's all passed i'm like it's over it's in the past like i want to leave it in the past and i want to forget about it and i want to continue my life like i want my life back you know and that's so normal to think and to say because if they took three months away from you like girl you would feel the exact same way you know and yeah that's that's practically the tea so yeah prepare to be sick of me i'm gonna be posting a lot more now and yeah maybe i'll even post like a little instagram pic because i haven't really posted my result i posted like an instagram story yesterday of like my body or whatever it was like a mirror pick and yeah but other than that i haven't really posted my results and i haven't really been out in public so like literally nobody knows what i look like i fell off the face of the earth and and yeah <laughs> but i'm back now and let's just let's just ignore that and move forward so yeah <laughs>
Ooh. Staring at your chest cause it's see no Talking all the shit that you done been through But I know you went wrong with the game Asking me about sex, sex Tu eres un diez Pero si es con ese tipo Y parece tu tipo Me llame lo que me cuenta más What's my favorite song? Con periño lady, haga lentes en la cara Como quiere mi lana y no está mal So I am finally done with my makeup. Here is my final result. I just need to do my lips now and you guys look at how tiny my lip liner is It's literally so tiny and I've been trying to look for it at like Walmart and Walgreens Which is where I bought it and I can't find it and it's my favorite um, Lip liner ever. It's the only one I've been using literally for like the past I want to say like the past nine months <laughs> 